Leo. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love my Leos. Happy birthday. Um, that's exciting. We're doing July 15th through the 30th of 2018 tarot reading. I do want to let you know that this is a preview for August. We're going into Wonderland in August, the Terror of Wonderland. I'm not doing this today. This will be August. So you'll want to subscribe and hit that bell icon because you won't want to miss this. It's going to be so much fun. Today we're actually going under the sea with the under the sea tarot. Uh, so this is exciting. Alright, so we have dolphins and mermaids uh, oracles. So I need one card for what is the central theme of Leo's reading. One card, the central theme of Leo's reading. One card, the central theme of Leo's reading. One card. Okay, right, so morning affirmations. Say positive affirmations each morning uh, to help to open the gates of manifestation. This is really good advice. I do this every morning. And it really does help. It, it helps the law of attraction to bring good things into your life. So that's very good advice. All right, what is internally going on with Leo? Three cards for what's... Oh, you came out. We got the sun card, which is the card of Leo. A lot of options. and feeling defensive on edge. Okay, so we have the um, seven of shells, which is the seven of cups in the traditional deck. Uh, this would be Scorpio energy. This could be trying to find meaning in life, soul searching, having multiple choices, daydreaming, being out of touch with reality, fantasy, illusion. We have the Sun card reverse. This is your energy. This is Leo energy. Um, this is worry, doubts, negativity, blocks, emotional blocks, being very competitive. Seven of Wands in the reverse. So you feel like giving up, you feel overwhelmed here. Again, we're in your energy, we're in Leo energy. So there's a sense of being overwhelmed, too many things going on, too many options, too many choices. And that's your internal world. Now we're going to take a look at your external world. Sometimes your external world looks different than your internal world. Three cards for what's going on in Leo's family and home life. Three cards for Leo's family and home life, please. Three cards for Leo's family and home life, please. So there's a lot of emotions. And things are changing. I have the four of shells in the reverse. So there's boredom here. There's a missed opportunity, being aloof. I have the five of shells in the reverse. So you're moving on. You're accepting whatever you missed and you're forgiving. Again, we have Scorpio energy. Very, a lot of emotions here. And especially from the past into the present, there's a lot of emotions. And then we have the seven of wands in the reverse. So people are being caught out in your home. You, you're calling them out. There's challenges here. There's breaking habits. learning these painful lessons. 
Okay, what's going on in Leo's money? Two more cards. Again, I'm getting lots of emotions, and there is some conflict here. I see inter there's internal conflict with all of the options and wanting to be free, idealistic, um, just setting sail, being passionate. There's a lot of conflict internally. Uh, presently, there's conflict with wanting to be free and <coughs> accepting things and moving on. Financially, there's conflict. I have the Three of Wands in the upright. This is turning your back on the past, looking towards the future, taking action, making a decision, leading the way. This is Aries energy. This is a go-getter, going out there and getting her. I have the Three of Cups. So this is very emotional. This is celebrations, friends, community. So your your money is you're celebrating. You're celebrating financial success. You went out there, you got them. You are a go-getter, and now you're celebrating financial success. Then I have the two of cups in the reverse. There could be a breakup, an imbalance. There's a lack of harmony here. So you're celebrating, but there's also this lack of lack of harmony. Sorry. Right. So what's going on in Leo's social and romantic life? Three cards for Leo's social. Again, we're getting a lot of emotions and a lot of ambition and change. <laughs> I don't see any stability here. There's no stability here. Everything's changing. Everything's ambitious. Everything's action-oriented. Everything's emotional. I don't see any stability here. In your finances, there's no stability. In your home and family life, there's no stability. In your mind, there's no stability. In your social and romantic life, there's no stability. It's completely unstable. There's no earth. There's no grounding. You need to ground. There's no practicality here. There's no logic. <laughs> there's no logic here. It's all just emotionally based. It's all ambition, drive, excitement, change, movement. There's lots of movement here. But there's no stability. Alright, so the first card that we have is the eight, the eight of cups in the upright. So you're leaving things behind and you're setting sail towards a new future. Um, you're searching for inner happiness. You're leaving things that are emotionally unfulfilling. You're walking away. You're abandoning. This could be traveling, taking a break. It's Pisces energy. I also see a lot of cancer in this particular card because of the moon. The moon is very prominent here, and the moon rules cancer, so it could be cancer or Pisces. Alright, and then we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. So there's a completion here. Things ended and you're starting something new. You're taking on way too much. There's a lack of direction. This could be a Sagittarius. There's Sagittarius energy here. It's very outgoing, optimistic, takes risks, very blunt in speech, um, talkative. And then we have the Page of Swords in the reverse. So there could be malicious gossip in your social and romantic life. There could be somebody who's a spy. This is a card of spying. Somebody's watching you. There's cold arguments, backstabbing, misunderstandings. Um, 
having nothing to say. There could be psychological abuse here. You're taking on too much. You feel like you're ju you just leave it all behind and walk away and make something brand new because there's malicious gossip, because there's spying, because there's, and you already know about this. You already know about this. be the outcome if Leo just walked away, left everything behind. You're in the position to give. Things would be a little bit slower. Uh, there could be a player involved. Um, there could be some confusion. Okay, so if you just walked away from your social and romantic life and started it all over again, the outcome is going to be hard work is paying off. You built a nest egg. You're able to give. You're financially solid. This is a character card. This is the card of Aquarius. This is the knight, but he's in reverse. Whenever they reverse, they're, they're usually a player. Some sort of players coming in. This is mental confusion, chaos, being out of control. Somebody who's sarcastic, tactless, rude, hurtful, mental health issues, temper tantrums, looking for a fight all the time, overreacting, being manipulative, criminal, cruel. So basically you're going into the same thing that you're coming out of. Or it could be this person who's spying on you turns into the Knight of Swords reverse, somebody who's cruel, who's looking for a fight because you're turning your back and you're able to give. the Six of Cups reversed. So you'd be stuck in the past if you moved on because you haven't healed. You need time to heal. So you would either be, you at first you would be good. You would be solid. You would be stable. We finally got that earth energy here. <clears throat> but then you would be going back to what you've had before in the past and you would be looking at the past. So you have to heal first. Okay, three cards for Leo's career. Three cards for Leo's career, please. Okay, there's a lot of competition. Okay, so there's a, um, first there's a lot of competition. We have the five of wands in the upright. So this is a uh, competition. It could be conflict, stress, um, chaos, fighting, lack of teamwork, too many Indians, not enough chiefs. And we have the 10 of, uh, sh there's instability here. There could be financial loss in your career. There's greed, materialism. You need to cut it off, let it die, so something new can come in. There's, there needs to be a career change here. And you already know this as well. You need to just cut it off and let something new come in. All right, Leah, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day.
Thank mm-hmm. you.